Who did this to your driveway? My grandson. Jesus. My, my every grandson. every time I drive by, I look at it and I Tiger think... Tiger stripes, man. He yeah. I, I can't believe you were able to pull up every day and look at it. So a few months ago, I remember driving by and seeing a younger kid with surface cleaner and a pressure washer attempting to clean this driveway. And I didn't really think all that much of it until a few days later when I was driving by, it was all dry, and I saw all of the tiger striping, the overlap, all the things that you don't want to see after you paid somebody to clean your driveway. And things like this absolutely drive me nuts for multiple reasons. The first is I know that it can be done better. Even if you don't have the best equipment, if you do it right, you can still get good results. Another reason is people might drive by and then notice the substandard job more than they would a dirty driveway. And then they immediately think, I don't want to get anybody to pressure wash my driveway because I don't want it to look like this. Now, obviously I'd like for people to look at it and say, oh, the homeowner did this or, oh, the kid did this and I need to hire a professional so it doesn't look like this, but that's not always the case. We put together the most intensive training the industry has ever seen. Over six hours of in-depth training on the best methods for cleaning houses, roofs, driveways, and every other surface you might encounter on a residential job site. How to wash covers, the chemicals to use, how to mix them, the equipment, the best methods to make you the most efficient and profitable you can be. Safety and property protection, specialty chemicals, as well as pro tips, and so much more. We've helped 4,500 students get their ECP certification, which means how to wash delivers and continues to deliver because it's yours to keep and review forever. We've also included an extensive Q&A section in each module which gives you even more information at your fingertips. How to wash is less than the price of one house wash, so don't wait, click the link below. So as you saw, we were out the other day, I saw the homeowner out front and asked him what had happened. Obviously I was joking, uh, but I did have one more question for him. But if you would let me, can I send one of my guys over and just spray it? Because I wanna, I wanna do a test to see if we can correct this issue just with a solution. So you don't even have to run the I'm not going to run the machine. Yeah, just... Hey, yeah, sure. Absolutely. Okay, cool. It's, it's been that way for a couple of months. I know. I mean, Every like, time I drive by, I'm like, oh, my God. So a few days later, Mac was in the neighborhood. He was cleaning a roof down the street. So I told him to meet me at the driveway to spray it down with a post-treatment to see what kind of impact that alone would have on this driveway. And not only to get the grandson out of trouble, but also give these folks a better looking driveway to drive up to every single day. But most importantly, to prove my point that a pre or post treatment is absolutely critical when you're cleaning concrete driveways and walkways. Because far too often I get comments of people saying, oh, you just need to hit it with pressure. You don't need to use no chems. Well, I am hoping to prove you wrong today. And the cost of a pre or post treatment, it's pretty minimal in the grand scope of things. The time it takes is also minimal, but what I'm hoping is the results are gonna speak for themselves. So Mac is gonna lay down a three and a half percent SH, which is sodium hypochlorite, also commonly called bleach, and a water mixture. And the reason that I'm having him do this is because a lot of what you're seeing here is organic material that was not properly killed or removed during the first cleaning. So not only are you gonna kill the organics, but also anytime that you lay down a solution like this, it's gonna to help to hide the sins of poor workmanship, moving too fast, creating tiger stripes, too much overlap, not having your nozzles adjusted properly, not having the right pressure, not having the right nozzles on your surface cleaner. There are a multitude of small things that can have a big impact on the quality of the end product. And the post treatment does a great job in hiding those things. So a lot of you guys might be curious how much a driveway like this would cost if I was actually charging them. So I'm gonna pull up Quote IQ. I'm gonna pull up this property. I'm gonna measure out the driveway so we can see what these folks would pay if I didn't happen to ride by and notice their driveway. So it's gonna take a little bit of time for the chemical to do its job, but I'm gonna show you the before and after pictures here in a minute. But as you're watching Max spray this down, if you haven't already, go subscribe to the channel, give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment. Mike is the greatest person in the entire world for doing this driveway for free. And I really appreciate the time and effort that he takes in all of these videos. But uh, we're not gonna rinse anything off. We're just gonna leave it right where it is. We're gonna let the chemical uh, do its thing. And then I'm gonna come back here in a little bit so we can see what the results really were. All right, guys, so as you see, 
you do need a pre or a post treatment when you're dealing with organics. It really does a great job. And uh, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you like these types of videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment to let us know what you think. Don't forget to check out how to wash and obviously go download Quote IQ. Quote IQ has teamed up with the window cleaning resource to give away a window cleaning business starter kit. All you have to do is download Quote IQ on the Apple or the Google Play Store, and you have to become a premium or platinum subscriber to be entered to win. Be sure to check out the WCR for all your window cleaning needs, we are going to be announcing the winner on August 1st.